Good morning. I think I'm getting sick again. <laughs> I feel my voice sound a little stuffy. Another weekend, another market. We have about like three hours and a half to four, no, three hours and a half, yeah, to pack and tag everything. And then we have to load into the car and get to the venue to set it up. Um, this market, I don't have to be there for the entire three days of the event. I just need to come back and restock. But today is a setting up day. We already went and picked out our table yesterday. Um, I have my banner there and stuff like that. But today we're gonna go set up. Yeah, I'm gonna get to work. As I was going through the inventories in our storage, I found this one bin that filled with ear warmers and binnies that I have made like last year, I believe. See, like the baby bear hat, we have one left, some like TikTok famous rainbow beanies, and even like the fox baby beanies, which come in really handy for me for these last two markets of the year. It will help my booth look a lot fuller. This is my second market that I'm doing with this venue. This is the one where I just leave my stuff there. And if you have watched that video, it was the one uh, for Haunted Market. And that's where I lost $400 worth of inventories. And that is why you see what I'm doing right now. Packing all of my little plushies in a container. Just to make sure that it look bigger, bulkier. So that less chance of people stealing it. The event coordinator was really nice and sweet. He offered me my booth spot right in front of the cashier area. So that's also another way to help with like watching my stuff and make sure people don't try to steal it. I just finished like printing out. I mean, also like make it these on Canva. These ones with these gonna go on the bubble. It's had my QR code to like all of my site links, everything. And then it have like the names of the items, the price, and then my vendor numbers. And then we had these um, circle one for, sorry, I have to hide behind <laughs> the thing because the camera won't focus. But this circle thing is for the one in the bags and I will show you guys shortly. This is the original way I put this like seal tag, price tag onto the V. Can you guys see? And <laughs> attach it on just like that. Yeah. I just got back from setting up. It's like freaking 9.30 a.m. I mean, I can't even think straight enough. It's like 9.30, 9.40 p.m. now. I just had my super late dinner. Um. So it turns out we didn't have enough of the Christmas Eve theme products. So we had to went to like Dollar Tree, pick up some like bow, the one that like you stick on your presents and stuff like that. And then stick it on a bunch of like all of our packaging just to make it look a little more Christmas-y. But the book looks so much better now that I can show you guys a photo right here and even the video too. Um, we have like a six foot table that they provided us and then I brought like a clothing racks on the side for all of our sweatshirts, t-shirts, um, yeah, and then the bow things, I think actually it turns out really cute, but for the next couple days, I don't know, I have to think of other items that we can bring there, because I do want to be, like, apply with the rules that, like, is Christmas theme stuff, but so far tonight, what I'm gonna work on is a bunch of gingerbread men because those, they sell really well for me in the past couple of markets. I'm just gonna make it like a mini size, more comfortable spending point for people too. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna focus on working tonight. And then, I'm not, tomorrow, I will have to press a bunch more of the sweatshirts because I know the doggy design is out and the Grinch latte also out. They, not exactly out, but they like super low stock. I only have like one or two at the markets. So, yeah. And then, yes, and that what we will restock tomorrow. Unless I can do some like Pinterest research and find out other like Christmas E item that I can make that's small. To bring with me tomorrow when we restocked. But yeah, I'm gonna get crochet now. <laughs> I 
As a small business owner, one thing that's coming really handy is if you have an ability to multitask. Right here, I'm cutting out designs to press on shirts, and at the same time, I'm also printing out all of our sublimation cups design. I decided to go with like make more Christmas cup of anything because cup is something that people can use every single day. It's more practical than just plushies. Another week in another market! Today we're going to have a market at a local high school which I'm really excited about because we always do so well at school. This school is about like 30 minutes away from my spot so I'm about to leave here just like 7.30 and then we have about like an hour to set up from 8 to 9 a.m. The 9 a.m. is when it started. I mean 9 a.m. is a very early one. I'm not sure if we will get busy the first hours or two. So I prepare a lot of things for you to do, like pack more frisbee bag, uh, setting up like packaging stations, and maybe I, I can't even get some crochet time in. So uh, come along. Wow, this high school market is so huge. We have over 90 vendors, and um, I believe we were in the cafeteria. And where the Christmas tree was, it was like in the middle of the room. So we kind of like a little at the back of the cafeteria and turns out our table was like six foot. It wasn't eight foot like what they told me. Anyhow, this is our bone structure for the display. I use the two bookshelf from Ikea. Our main product for this market is plushies. I brought some of the mystery bags and then like two cups designs and a couple beanies and also a set of like keychains and magnetic bookmarks. The reason why I choose plushie to be my main product because it just in the past um, many many school event that we've done is always the plushie that sell really well but it took me by surprise for this market. You would think as a school event the main audience would be like children, kids, like high school student or student in general right but boy i was wrong this market was filled with adults literally not exactly my target audience at all that's probably why honestly start on the dot at 9 a.m as soon the market start we have customer everywhere walking back and forth back and forth it was just flooded and filled it with people it was just took me by surprise man with like how much people was here and they're just all adult. I rarely see any students throughout the day at all. I would say with a ratio of like 20% kids, children, and the 80% of adult parents, grandparents. Between the tables of vendors, um, we have just like very small space to walk by. That's why I don't take out my like usual cart where I put all these packaging items. I literally put it on this one little shelf right on the table next to my checkout register box just so that everything's like in reach within me. But the space was a little like smaller than I expected. But no complaints because I only spent like what $25 to be at this market. And now that I know the kind of customer will be here for my next market when I come back at this venue to school specifically, I think I know exactly how to make more sales than what I even did this time. Yeah. 
Yeah, they're smaller turtles. We had many, many people stop by and look at our boots, but not exactly buying them the first hours or two. So I spent some time in like adding details on this baby leggy froggies. That one. Would you like me to pack it up for you? I have a freebie pack for you. For this holiday season, this mini gingerbread man has been so hot. He's been flying off the shelf at pretty much every market I've been at. And for this one, that was the last one I was selling. So I actually have to start making another one pretty much immediately. Because people see like the bigger version of the gingerbread man. They ask like, oh, you have a smaller one. So I'm like, um, let me be back in like half an hour. I probably have another one ready for you. This pattern is pretty quick to web up. And they are available both on my YouTube channels and as a PDF file on my website. As for Lun, I got these slice of burnt pepperoni pizza for like three bucks that the school like selling. Um, I think this event for the school is kind of like a fundraising. So yeah, it's really nice to be able to support the school even just a little bit. Personally, I love thin crust, so this pizza a little too thick for me. But I gotta say, I love the burnt pepperoni. Overall, for this market at this school, I did really well. It wasn't like crazy, amazing kind of market, but I went home with profit in my pocket. And about like an hour or half an hour left of the show, these two angels show up and they actually got the big turtle and the big cow for me which has made me so happy that they found like the new forever home and i know for a fact that they will be cherished on from now as for the three-day markets we did so well as well i feel so blessed that i'm able to run two markets in the same weekends and both of them turn out to be so successful it's incredible to think about how many of the plushie that me myself i handmade it with my own hands that now it's in the stockings are has become the christmas present for so many people around the world and around america specifically it is such a blessing to be able to do the things that i love every single day and i wouldn't trade anything in the world for that and with that the 2023 seasons come to an end goodbye it's the end of the year <laughs> Everywhere on TV, couples and Christmas trees, gift wrapping and cheese.